Today I'm going to try out the watercolor pencils from Castle Arts, but this time the woodless ones. So let's see what we have inside. So there is a swatching card. It's nice, it is a little bit thicker paper. Um, we have just some info. What is this? I think this is the swatch card. And let's see. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so this is the same swatch card that comes in the gold edition colored pencils, but it is different than in the normal watercolor pencils. So watercolor tubes, watercolor, yes, they are here. Woodless watercolor. So, and the watercolor pencils are actually not on this list. So I suppose they did like a, a renewal of their art supplies and this is like a newer version. I suppose that's how it goes. Um, yeah, so, and here we have uh, an example of how this coloring with these pencils can be done and the same as the last time I find it really nice that they actually now give you also the colors that they are they were using and also the yeah colors color names and then you can really see what which colors they use in which step so I think that is uh, pretty nice. And here inside, I suppose there are some informations. So this is about the normal colored pencils, color wheel, getting some to know lights and shadows. Uh, is there anything special about ways to apply color? So there is a... So they say if you put the light pressure, you will be able to dissolve them. With the harder pressure, they themselves, from what you can see here, are showing that you cannot really dissolve them completely. That's what I'm understanding from this thing here. You can draw on a wet surface. Yeah, so different um, ways how to use them. Ah, here they are. Using woodless watercolor pencils. So the shaving, so it's normal shaving. The loose shaving from a woodless watercolor pencil can be used as a normal watercolor pigment. And I think this is the one positive thing about the woodless colored pencils because when you are shaving them then sharpening them you can use the rest and then also color with that so there is really minimal waste which is really nice so yeah we will see we will see because from what i see here they are not even dissolving well on their in their book but we will see and this is other information okay so in this set there are oh my god there are like a lot of is this one so i suppose this one was here there are a lot of watercolor brushes Ooh. This is the first time that I see one of these ones. I don't know if you can see because it is white, but and it is shining a lot. But this is a really big brush, like for um, for wetting your paper or making some um, washes. Hmm, nice. So there are two of them. One is bigger and one is smaller. These are normal ones. You also get the really the your usual uh, brushes. You get one round and one flat uh, brush. So let's take a look at these watercolor pencils. Oui. 
they are a little bit stuck so we have a color name on them a color number castle arts and woodless watercolor so i suppose this is some kind of coating i'm not really sure um but it is something so i do not mm. okay so when i look at this coating like this it looks similar to the coating that you have on your uh, regular colored pencils you know so you have the wood and then a lot of times you have that color on it so this from what i can see it looks like like that so i'm gonna test them make a swatch and see how well they can dissolve So the Castle Art Woodless Watercolor Pencils were definitely much nicer to use than the normal watercolor pencils. These were softer, and but sometimes I had the feeling that they were going in the direction of the wax crayons and I had immediately the feeling that they will not dissolve so well even though, as I said, they were nice to, to color with because they are much softer than the normal ones. And here is the, the swatch of these um, Castle Arts Woodless watercolor pencils. And yeah, it's like there are some colors that are dissolving nice. And again, there are colors which dissolve pretty bad the black one as well and I have to say when I compare the castle art woodless to the castle arts normal ones I honestly 
do not see a lot of difference in the way how they dissolve i uh, i would say they are the same maybe maybe even some of these ones are even better for example if i take a look at these red ones here and then i have these woodless ones yeah and also this one these two these ones seem to be more vibrant not a lot but they seem to be a tick more vibrant but when i look like how they dissolve uh maybe like this maybe i can yeah if i show you like this if you look at these green ones i honestly do not see a lot of difference they for me they look the same so it could be that they use the same insides although as i said these ones the woodless ones feel um softer they definitely feel softer so the the castle arts the woodless ones are much softer and here we can see the comparison so this is the woodless ones and these are the normal ones and in this case yes this this red one is actually the worst one that dissolves that's why i've took also another one because this red one in this case it's really a bad example because from the whole from the set that i tried i think this is this one is almost the worst also the the black one but i, have, I think the normal ones do dissolve maybe maybe better I mean, in this case, when I look at this red one, the, the old version, not the old, so the, the one with the wood, dissolves better than, than this one. So this is just light pressure, and here I did, I put a heavier pressure to see how much of the color um, I can dissolve. And you, you see also, maybe this one is even a little bit more vibrant than this one more saturated uh, the reactivation i would dare also say that the one with the normal ones reactivates a little bit better than this one i do see more of the white of the paper here than in this case and here i actually could not move anything while here well at least something moved but here uh, nothing i tried another color to see because you see there is a, also a bigger difference in the color but also here uh, it dissolves a little bit better this one as well but the reactivation like nothing also here i cannot even i see that there is i did try to dissolve it but still it is not really usable uh, so it is a little bit difficult to say because so maybe these ones are a little bit more pigmented than these ones but these ones are definitely softer and nicer to, to color with them but the question is if you want something to dissolve completely then I mean the question is how much is important for you this difference in how they dissolve because if you are just going to have like only this part and you do not care if your color moves then maybe these ones are better because as i said they are softer otherwise i, I would choose these ones but it is it is really difficult i have to say just because i have the brush here maybe just Yeah, they, they, they feel like wax crayons. It, it is strange. It is really strange how they feel. And the more I press, then I can feel as if, really as if they were wax crayons. Just to, just to try something out. Uh, 
um, I tried coloring this just like really fast with three different colors. Um, they do leave some, some streaks a little bit. So I would actually say that I think they are nice for smaller details but not like for bigger surfaces but for smaller details uh, where you do not have to move the pigment a lot of around uh, or you do not have to yeah where you do not have to move the pigment too much i think they they can work now i can just try one more thing I would say my biggest problem with them is that they are still not pigmented enough for my taste. That's the thing because um, this for me looks almost the same as before I applied water. Like I want the watercolor pencils to like pop out when you when I apply water. So that's that's what I'm looking for. So these are like as I said, they are okay. They are. They are not so bad uh, for smaller surfaces, for, for big ones. No, I would not, I would not really use them. Um, yeah, the paper is not good, but still I wanted to try it on in this coloring book. So nope, definitely not for bigger surfaces. Um, yeah, but they do feel much nicer. So they are definitely not dry. After you go over the same spot a couple of times, they do start to feel like really wax crayons and that they are like uh, leaving that residue when you press too hard. So yeah, yep. um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted. Definitely not, not uh, that I say that they are wow, really good. Uh, but I'm not quite sure if I can say if these ones or the normal ones are better because these ones are really nice and soft when you apply them but but the other ones are also not so pigmented so yeah yeah I would, I would choose the cheaper ones <laughs> yeah they are they are like lacking the, the pigmentation they are lacking that stronger pigmentation when you apply water. Okay, guys. So, whew, I hope this was, it was a little bit confusing. Um, but I hope it helped you somehow. So, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.